What's up guys, my name is Lorenzo, I'm with EXP, and we're here in Calgary in Glengarry slash Killarney, okay? We're looking at the semi-detached property listed at 1149, and this has a unique feature that I don't see too often for these new builds, and it'll be really good for your pocketbook. So here we go. Uh, we're in the foyer here, and then as soon as you step in, you're in the living room. Off of the living room, maybe you're a busy professional like myself, you need quiet space, you want a little office, that would be right here. But don't worry, there is a powder room on this floor as well. And then we have this beautiful gas fireplace here that separates and shares the heat to both the living room and the dining room here, the formal dining room. We have beautiful wainscoting on all of these walls here. And the light fixtures that they've chosen here are absolutely beautiful. This is one of my favorite designs here. Some would say it's a modern art deco. I, I don't know, I, I guess I should learn this stuff. If you know where I can go to learn more about the official names of this stuff, whether it's like a school or a magazine or something like that, let me know, okay? Because I just kind of roll through stuff, but I wanna learn some stuff formally to better present things for you guys, okay? So now we're in the kitchen here and we have a lot of counter space. We have uh, granite counters. We have stainless steel appliances, undermount lighting, and then this feature here you don't see too often, okay? So that's a pot filler built in right here, right above your gas range, make it nice and convenient for you. We have a microwave down here, and again, just a lot of storage. I really, really like these lights so much. It's uh, like a brushed bronze Art Deco, again, look, and I like that a lot. Over here we have huge sliding doors that looks out onto your backyard and we have a concrete pad here. Uh, that's obviously a uh, premium feature. It's not just a wood deck. It's a big deck here and you do have grass area as well and a double car garage. Now you might, you might wanna come in through the back here or before you leave you might wanna have a little espresso and you can have a coffee station here perhaps. And then over here we have your, go ahead and show them, the powder room and the mud room. You know, the kids can throw their jacket up. Storage, storage is always good for when you have a family, storage is always good. Okay, maybe this could be a um, coffee bar. You can put a little uh, fridge in here as well, or maybe use it as a little kid's workstation perhaps, you know, while you're, you can watch them work on their homework, like the good kids that they are while you're cooking. I don't know. Okay, so let's go upstairs. You, I don't know if you can notice it on camera, but um, we have wide stairways here. Sometimes they're kind of narrow. This is on, on uh, the, the wider set of stairs here, which I really like. I personally notice it right away because I see so many homes. As soon as I see like two extra inches, I definitely notice it. So come upstairs and let's take a look. We also have another fun little surprise that definitely caught me off guard, okay? In um, the second and third bedroom, not the primary. So we come up here and we have a shared bathroom with his and hers. Cool. Okay, so come over here. Come over here. We have a walk-in closet. Okay. And now just, can, can they see up there? Yeah? <laughs> super cool party feature, super wacky, but I love it. Uh, I hope there's a remote so you can change the colors and it stays the same and doesn't give you a seizure. That'd be great. Um, and then over here we have another cove lighting disco light. <laughs> Super cool. Uh, this room, the smaller of the two, has built-in shelving here, but it is not a walk-in closet. Okay, uh, let's walk this way. Get creative. You can figure out what to do here, right? I don't know. And then we have a laundry room here. and walk-in closet here. And now we're into the primary suite. And it is very tastefully finished. 
First of all, it's quite large. No problem fitting a king size or a California king size, right? Two queens beside each other if you wanted to. I love these light fixtures. This house, I would buy this house. It's, it's exactly what I like. I like these wainscoting walls. I like the paint and then these light fixtures that go with it. This is my aesthetic. Okay, we have a sliding door to the bathroom here. Okay. And then we have a big steam shower with gold. Everyone knows I love gold, okay? I'm just a tacky type of guy like that. But these are very nice. Yeah, these are very nice finishes. Okay, so lovely steam room. I like the accents. I like the color, the dark color. And we have a door to the poo poo room here, okay? We have his and hers. And then we have a wide tub that two, fee two people could sit in side by side. Should I show them? Real quick, yeah. So if I were to just sit, look at this, on one side, look how much room I have right here. Okay, and you can see the outdoors as well. You might wanna put something there to not necessarily show all your neighbors your private stuff. Now here's this bonus surprise that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. And no, it's not the wine storage, come this way. You'll notice there's a door going to the basement. You'll also notice there's a lock here. Perfect. That's because there's a door here as well with a lock on it. Come down. Now this doesn't necessarily mean anything, but there are definitely signs for something good coming. Okay. Now I usually don't show you the mechanical room, but you'll notice in the mechanical room there are two furnaces. Okay, interesting. So, the reason why that is, is because this, again, another lock, this is a legal two-bedroom basement suite. Okay. And we have quartz countertops. We have nice cabinets here. We have nice stainless steel appliances that are very shiny, very large adult size, right? Not modern condo size. We have a big fridge here with a water dispenser. I'm glad that nothing came out of that because I could have just made a little bit of a mess there. Then we're in the second bedroom over here. Nice spacious bedroom with a huge window that allows a lot of light to come in and it doesn't feel like you're in a basement, doesn't feel depressing, right? Here's your thermostat so you can control your own temperature down here. We have tall ceilings, nine feet over here and eight over here in this area. And then you have your own laundry room and storage to the right. Uh, the appliances aren't in, but that's okay. And then we have a his and hers and a tub over here. So we have a huge spacious living room as well as a built-in here. You can put your big 80 inch screen TV and you have lots of storage down here for all your stuff. And then we have the primary bedroom in the basement, again, with a really, really big window. And then we have a walk-in closet over here. You can cut. So what do you guys think? If you're moving from Toronto or Vancouver, would you pay 1.149 million for this and maybe subsidize that cost? with this rental down here that would probably bring you about 2000 ish per month is this something you'd be interested in if so comment below or just simply dm me or email me call me whatever works for you and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe until next time bye